Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we're out here at Back to the 50s Car Show in St. Paul, Minnesota, and uh, we are here with Pete, and yeah. we're here with his beautiful 55 First Series Chevrolet pickup. That's right. They, they actually made this body style for a half a year in 1955, and so basically it's the old body style from 47 through 54 on the new... Uh, frame and engine and drivetrain. It's got a drive shaft and a rear end instead of a torque tube okay. that all the rest of them did. So consequently it'll run down the highway a little better than the older ones did. And, and if you get tall enough tires you can keep up with the traffic. So you can drive this pretty comfortably on the highway. That's a matter of opinion, but yes. yes. <laughs> So, but you drove it five hours to oh, get here, right? I can. I'm fine with it. My You're wife. Fine. My wife Your might wife argue with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The okay. air conditioning is not up to her standards. Said, I see you only have single stage air conditioning. That's well. No, actually, if you turn the wing windows around, you've got triple stage. Oh, but, triple yeah, stage. That's right. Nothing uh, but the finest. Nothing but the finest. So, Pete, well, you know, what was what was your interest or your draw into into cars as a hobby and and. Well, I, I guess I've always been interested in cars. My dad loved cars, uh, and I used to ride around in a blue old advanced design series like this when I was a little kid, and then my wife's uncle got me started in it with one he had, and, and uh, uh, this is my third one, so uh, it's a keeper. <laughs> it's a keeper. Well, <laughs> Def, and you have actually uh had restored this one because this of course you didn't buy it like this no no it was uh it was green when i bought it and uh, uh so we spent a, well no i'm sorry it was a dark maroon it, it, one guy had put maroon over the old green but okay uh, so we stripped it clear down off the frame and uh redid redid the whole thing all right can we take a look under the hood David? absolutely tell us what you've done in here. well it's the it's the it's the red stobolt six motor which was fine it's a 235 they used a 216 up until about uh, 54 or so, and then switched over to the 235, which was uh, had better bearings. So they got rid of the Babbitt bearings and got to a uh, better oil system. Now I did. Uh, I put a cam in it and some lifters and split the manifold and put some double carburetors, two little Carter two barrels on it, okay. and uh, redid the cooling system a little bit so it's water. The carburetors are water cooled instead of exhaust cooled, so okay. and uh, works good for me. Uh, well, it sounds like if you can tool down the road at 65 or so, oh, and, yeah. and it'll keep running all day, not a not a problem. And, wow, um, I, I I love how you've cleaned up the engine bay, of course, when you did the remodeling job and got everything painted in there. It looks really nice. Thank you. All right, so just a little bit of work on the engine now yeah you you make it sound like you just you know threw a couple things in and closed the hood but well that's quite a bit more yeah that's uh whatever it's, you're obviously fairly fairly mechanically minded to be able to do that like so. i say it uh, it's got a little lope to it but not 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 extreme but it yeah. uh, gives a little more i had to put different valve springs in okay. and some stuff like that but not a huge thing but. all right let's uh let's uh, step back here and just take a look at the front in a minute i, I love the chrome of course, yeah, that's unique to 54 and 55. Uh, did, did you have to have that re-chromed? Uh, there's only one piece on there that's re-chromed. This, this got re-chromed. The rest is original. You, um, you're telling me this is original? Yes. Up here and down. But this piece I had to replace and get re-chromed. But the, the rest what is original. What does somebody do? Buy a new piece, a chrome piece, or leave it wrapped in plastic for 30 years and then sell it to you? Well, that's, that's crazy. That's, that's really one nice. nice thing about this series. You could build this whole truck from parts. The okay. parts, are, parts are readily available now. Costs uh, a little bit more than the original. Yeah, you'd spend a couple hundred thousand if you did it that way. But, but, that, uh, but that's nice. <laughs> okay, so that's the only part that you had to re-chrome. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, and I shouldn't say that. I replaced the bumpers. The bumpers. Okay. Yep. All right. And uh, is it a six volt or twelve volt system? I converted it over to twelve volt. Okay. Would it originally uh, been six? It was originally okay. six volt, but uh, it's just a little nicer to have twelve volts. Uh, he's getting close-ups of the bugs now. So. Well, that's right. okay. We want to see which ones you kill. Yeah, if you're going to come all the way into Minnesota, I, I we appreciate it if you I killed a lot of kill bugs a few more and here. take them out of state for us. Yeah, okay. okay. I'll work on that because okay. I love to drive them. <laughs> yeah. let's, uh, let's take a look along the side here. Uh, now, you had uh, the, the tires here. I, I love these tires. Now, these were not the originals. No, no. Uh, most of the guys back then didn't get white walls, but I thought, I worked hard finding uh, the tallest tire that I could get again to to get so you can run highway speed. Yeah. And uh, 
it works great. Like I say, the wheels are original. I of course painted them, but uh, I like the I like the beauty uh, ring and the, and the, the moon trim caps. ring and the hubcap. Yep. You can find those readily available, but they're tall enough that I like I say I can run down the highway at at 60, 65 all day long. So now on the running boards here, you this is uh, standard, right? You always had a Chevy plate. No, I added or did that. Did you add that? I added that just so people didn't step on the paint. Right, paint. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Especially, yeah, you put that much money into a paint job, yeah. and you want to protect it. And you bet. Let's talk about the interior a little bit. Well, really, um, really, it's the stock interior, only I covered it with fabric instead of the vinyl, which we right. had originally. And I, they make carpets that you can put in them. You couldn't get carpet originally. So I put carpet and, and uh, cloth interior instead of the vinyl. It, it helps with the... Uh, air conditioning system. Yes, with the air conditioning <laughs> system. I yeah. like the three on the tree there. Yep, um, that's kind of unique. And, uh, and of, you got some tunes to listen to that are more modern to uh, just... Upgraded that. Not yep. that you can always hear them. Tell us what you have for exhaust Well, no, here. because when I redid it, of course, every kid in the world, when he had a Chevy 6, had to put split the manifold and put glass packs on it. And so I did that. So, so that. hearing the radio is a problem, but that's okay. <laughs> The music's better outside the truck. Absolutely. All right. So coming back to the to the bed here, you must have had all the wood replaced. I did, and uh, I, I replaced the wood, and I've I've again coated it a second time because I've had this for 10, 15 right. years. Yeah, you're gonna and I think my next years. step is to take the painted stripes out and put stainless steel in. It's more practical. If I was going to do it over, that's the one thing I would do differently. I'd put stainless steel strips in strips instead of painting instead them. Instead of painting them, yeah. So. Other than that, yeah. We've, no, seen, we've seen a couple of people do that, yeah. and, and they've said the same thing. And, yeah, I do. Um, I love the pitchfork. Well, <laughs> a friend of mine who farms said, if you're going to drive an old truck, you got to have a pitchfork, and the three-pronged pitchfork is kind of hard to find. That is. So then one of the guys in our car club was messing around trying to do some chrome plating as a hobby, and I thought, well, man, if we got a pitchfork, we got to chrome plate it. So that's how that turned out. So that out. was this project to practice on, and that's then you, right. you got your pitchfork out of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I love it. It works great. It looks fantastic. It looks perfect. Thank you. All right, coming to the very, very back here. Okay. Of course, you do have the, the, the uh, 6235. Yeah, that's from a, a guy named Tom Langdon who has a, a website called Langdon Stole Bolt 6, and uh, he sells those emblems along with the the system of carburetors that I have in there. So I, I got that and most people look at it and don't know what it is, but it's a stow bolt and then they, you can get them with a 216 or a 235 and uh, there might be one other version and I don't remember what it is, but. Uh, All right. Now uh, you had uh, dual tail lights and that, did, you, did they come standard with dual tail lights or did you have to put those in? It came with them, but they weren't chrome. Okay, okay. so I replaced them with the chrome version. It has turn signals. That's okay. another thing that's unique to you could add them with a guide-on kit in the older ones, but this one you could actually get turn signals. They were, yeah. they were, you could get them built in. Yep. Okay. And then did you re-chrome this bumper as well? Yeah, well, I replaced it. It's a, okay, it's a, it's a replacement bumper. Yes, it's a replacement bumper. And obviously the exhaust is not in stock, but whatever, obviously. I like it. But <laughs> yes, I'm just, I, I can't wait. I hope, hopefully maybe you'll start it up for us and we can, oh, yeah. we can, we can listen do that. to it here. You bet. So, you know, Pete, what's one of your favorite memories about this car? I guess what's really fun about it is when I got it, most of my grandsons could actually stand up in the truck. <laughs> and uh, now they're all way taller than I am. So it's been fun to haul them up to back to the 50s every year and uh, different car shows and, and to get them excited in, in cars the way I have been. So that's been probably the most fun part of it. Uh, yeah. Awesome. So it's awesome when you can have family involved in, Absolutely. in what, you, what you're doing. That's you great. Well, uh, Pete, thank you so much for sharing your beautiful 55 well, thank uh, you. Chevrolet uh, pickup with us and your story. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.